I think the repeal of the death penalty is the wrong move. However, I'm in favor of repairing the current system we have. I think that a swift, certain, and rare form of capital punishment is what we need to do. In fact, some would argue we're already doing that, but I think, I think we could do better. No one can deny in this room, no one can deny, anyone, anyone who's even just a, a minor student of history cannot deny that there have been historical inequities in our criminal justice system and in the application of the death penalty. That is the absolute truth. No one can deny that, and nobody should, because if they do, they're, they're fooling themselves. But by repealing the death penalty here today, are we really fixing that problem? Well, I understand they're saying, well, what we're doing is preventing a horrible mistake. I understand that rationale. It's a principled position. I'm not going to argue with it because that's a valid position. But we're not fixing the problem that is the, the underpinning of, of you know, how we're getting here. Regardless, on balance, for me, listening to all the testimony, reading all the testimony, talking to law enforcement, and talking to victims, I think that if a certain swift and rare death penalty can prevent the death of one, one innocent future victim, I think a death penalty is serving its function. So that's why I'm going to, to vote against repeal. With the future victims in mind, I offer an amendment. The clerk should have on his desk LCO number 3129. The amendment is really quite simple. Um, what the amendment does, it, it, you may remember, I think it was back in 2008, this chamber, this house, this General Assembly, passed um, a home invasion amendment, or a, home, a, a new act, a new statute that created a, a specific crime for uh, felonies committed during a home invasion. It's, it's contained in uh, Title 53A-100 AA. This amendment would seek to make death penalty still available in the event of a home invasion, as we have defined already in our statutes, if, a, if a, a murder is perpetrated while committing a home invasion. You know, we've spent a fair amount of time here today and now this evening talking about possible carve-outs, talking about whether or not the death penalty is a deterrent. The one thing it, and, and frankly, we got close with the, poli with the police officer because people, you know, it's funny because people say, well, it's not a deterrent, but maybe it is with a police officer because if criminals go into a situation and they know, you know, the police may get involved here, that could prevent one. Here, a similar issue. If you are going, if a criminal, again, this may save one person, one family, this may prevent one innocent victim from having to die. If a criminal is going to break into your home, into my home, into your homes where your children and grandchildren sleep they know they're breaking into that home there is nothing more sacrosanct in our society than your home it's protected under all kinds of constitutional amendments and, and rights it's protected in statute it's protected in common law it is your home if a criminal is going to break into your home and violate our existing law for home invasion under home the home invasion statute and, and, and it goes awry and someone is killed and murdered, well, I think the death penalty is definitely appropriate in that circumstance. So it, it's a simple bill. It promotes public safety. It promotes certainty. It promotes deterrence. And, and, and with, with that, if anything, if it, again, stops one crime from happening, I think we've done our job here today.